hope you're doing well. You asked me about uh, spirituality and finances. You didn't really specify or get too specific on questions or really much. So, and that's okay. That's okay. I'll just give you what comes out. see you're not feeling either you're not feeling um, as financially stable as you want to be or you're actually not financially stable I'm not sure which one will clarify that in a minute in a minute um, I feel like you either are being given spiritual wisdom um, like ancient type of wisdom um, and you're not because this came out in reverse it's either you're being given it and you're not wanting to listen or you're confused and kind of don't know what to trust we'll get some clarification on that um, you are going in a new direction okay you're going in a new direction and there's this this um, you're you're feeling trapped or you actually are trapped but there's this sense of a spirit is asking you to release your soul okay there's like this free spirit that um, you're kind of holding back okay and I'm not sure that's possibly because you've been hurt okay um, I feel like there's some some anxiety here happening there's possibly um, if you're not able to sleep at night you're having bad dreams um, I'm not sure what's keeping you up or what has what has caused this pain um, but it's on your mind it's it's on your mind so let's get some clarification on this wisdom that you're seeking that's the first thing that came out it's like um, and that could t that could deal with like an actual grandfather or a father or some masculine energy that is um, uh, in control it's like a protector a provider but it's it's very much especially in this deck to deal with wisdom okay there's some stagnation going on here okay there's something that you're needing to walk away from so again that's that it's almost like you're scared to walk away from the current belief system yeah there's some some new like um, offer being made emotional okay you're be I don't I don't know if you're scared to take back your power or to take on this new power. It's like there's this offer being made that that can fulfill you emotionally, okay, and intuitively. Um, and it looks like it's coming from like a higher source of wisdom. 
but I feel like you're scared to leave. There's something that's like keeping you from leaving these old belief systems behind. There's something keeping you from taking back this power or, or, or stepping into this power. Yeah, you're thinking very negatively about it. Okay? You're thinking very negatively. Or you think people are going to think negatively about you if you take on this newfound knowledge or wisdom or something. This is like this belief system that's coming, okay? Um, ten of wealth and it's coming in reverse. So again, there's that, there's that financial, like you're not wanting to... Um, or you're not feeling as stable as you should be. Okay, there's something going on with your finances that you're feeling they're not, they're either not where they should be or you just feel like they're not where they should be. Two of water is coming out, okay, and that is the card for love. But this could be, um, it could be like actual love, like a, a partnership, but it could be the love within yourself. And I feel like this particular thing has to do with you loving yourself. And I'm not sure if that's what's hindering you on this spiritual journey. But this this two this ten of earth is also um, it's very it's it's a completed cycle, okay? And it has to do with earthly matters. So I feel like there's a lot going on three dimensional wise as to it's affecting you and, and it's it's why you're not allowing yourself to take this new way of, of spirituality. It's like you're putting too much trust in what people are saying or what people are thinking. Yeah, contemplation, okay? You're needing, you're being urged, especially with this negative thinking. It's almost like you have these, um, these negative energies around you like purposely making you feel like you're not loved like you're not worth it okay and you're being asked urged not asked urged to cleanse this energy from around you to go into meditation to go into prayer to ask for guidance absolutely uh, to to get into this meditative state okay to get back balance okay daughter of water she's all about balance and intuition moon coming right back to that intuition um, this sort of creative energy to get to this new path, take this, this power. You've got to go into meditation. You've got to clear some of this negative. There's definitely some negative shit eating at you. So I don't know if you've recently become, um, sort of conscious as they call it, um, or like uh, woke or aware of something. Um, but it's like, it's like something is blocking you. Something does not want you to grow. And it's causing a lot of mental uh, anguish for you. Yeah, because you're not, you're not listening to your spirit guides, and they're there, baby. They are talking to you. They're like almost screaming at you, and you're not listening. And 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 I think you're not listening because you're scared of what people will think. Yeah. I don't, oh, okay, so, um, I don't know if, if something happened in your childhood, okay, you're going to have to go back, something's happened in your childhood that is keeping you from reaching this state of pleasure. There's something uh, from the past. 
that's causing this interference with your spirituality. It's like you're letting what people have done to you or said to you or has said the, the way that they have hurt you when you are, were a child, it's like it's like you're stopped in your tracks and you've become very isolated. And you're not wanting to receive what is being offered to you. Yeah. It's complete. It's done. They say it's complete. It's done. You have to let it go. You're being urged to go on a vision quest. To seek your higher purpose. To raise your vibration. Right now you're in a very, very low vibration. And it's because of this interference. It's because of whatever has happened to you as a child. And you need to, to get in alignment and, and send a, raise your frequency so that you can send out a higher frequency so that you can receive a higher frequency, okay? And that alone will repel the negative energy around you uh, most times. Not to say that it still won't try to get at you, but it won't be able to do what it could do before. The higher your frequency, the less of an effect it can have on you. Okay, and you are absolutely being asked to go and you, not ask. You're being told, like almost, like I feel like you're almost being scolded to go into meditation or, or prayer, whatever that may mean to you. Because there has got this change has to come. There has to be this balance. You have to understand that there is this balance between light and dark, good and evil. There is this, there is this duality here in this dimension. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to go through the absolute shit storm and, and worse, bad, horrible things. I feel like horrible things have been done or said to you. And sometimes you have to go through that. It's just part of your journey. It's like, it's what, for whatever reason, it's part of what makes us who we are here. Like, it gets us to where we need to be. It gets, gets what, it's what makes us this spiritual warrior. Okay? It's what makes us this spiritual warrior. You're not going to be able to juggle this. You're not going to be able to hold on to the pain of the past and, and, and have what you seek spiritually. Yeah, you're being urged. To balance also the lovers coming out in reverse this is this is also duality this is also um, feminine and masculine um, good and bad it, it's a it's duality and it is out of balance this is for Gemini it's absolutely out of balance and then you get this is for Taurus the shaman this is um, this is traditions beliefs traditions it's like Wow, I don't know who hurt you or why they did or what they did. I don't know, but I know that this has like caused a major blockage. But you're absolutely um, on your way to beginning this new journey, this new beginning. If you allow it, if you allow it, but you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to experience, you're going to have to allow this thing 
that hurt you to heal. You're going to have to face it head on. You're going to have to feel it wholeheartedly, and then you're going to have to release it. You're going to have to go into meditation. You're going to have to go um, into prayer or whatever that means to you, and you're going to have to go on this vision quest because there's some sort of like this higher purpose, okay? You're needing to lift and raise your frequency so that you can attract that and so that you can get the divine information that you seek, this wisdom that um, it's like it's there, it's being presented to you, but it's like I don't know if you're refusing to take it or if you simply can't hear it because of where your vibration is at the moment. Now, I will tell you that that alone, getting in alignment with your true path, your spiritual, uh, your spirituality and your spiritual path, that alone will put things in order and in a forward motion as far as finances go, okay? Um, as far as everything goes, being in alignment, it makes everything move along forward the way that it should, okay? You may not be, you may not be meant to be rich. You may just be meant to have what you need, but you may be meant, you know, it's all a matter of, like, if you were given a million dollars today, what would you do with it? What would you do with it? How would you help the people? You see what I mean? It's like, we don't always need what we think we need. We just really want it. But I will say that, um when you are in alignment with your spiritual path um, and with your true true path and journey um, things fall into place much better and abundance is not an issue because the universe, your creator, the great spirit, the almighty, whatever you call it will always see that you are taken care of ambition coming out in reverse so I'm not sure if you're lacking a little bit of ambition okay knight of cups again that again out comes this offer this offer that you're not taking wheel of fortune comes out destiny um, that wheel of fortune it has to turn Right, it has to turn for the next phase, and you have to allow it to turn. Um, coming in upright, it does mean good things, but it, it it's like where are you on the wheel? Because it depends on where you are on the wheel. Not everybody experiences something good on that wheel. And then the full, the new beginning coming out, second deck coming out in reverse. It's like you're not wanting to start this new beginning ten of pentacles luck okay so when you and that's exactly what i was saying before we pulled the cards when you get your shit in order on the inside when you become balanced when you release these blockages that you have you will much better when you when you finally take on this new journey this new beginning and allow spirit to guide you and let go and, and truly live in love and not have any more of this hatred in your heart. Um, that